Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a blur effect in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Now that you can easily export images in Doodly thanks to a recent update, I thought it would be fun to create a blur effect. You will need an image editing program to tweak the outputted image. Today, we'll use a free online application called Lunapic, so don't worry, you don't need to go out and buy anything in order to do this effect. So let's just take a quick look at what I have here, okay? So my top image is this one, and this is what I created elsewhere. It's blurred, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that for now. And then here, I just have a standard doodly scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate my title for now because I don't want that to be blurry. I just want this. This is the scene I want to be blurry. So what do you do? Well, you right click the scene and you go save as image. And we're gonna save it as a 1080p resolution and JPEG or PNG is fine. I'm just gonna do JPEG for now. It's gonna to go to my desktop and it's just gonna be named video 370 whatever, okay? So boom. And then I'm gonna to go to lunapic.com. And this is kind of an old school site. It's not super pretty, but it does the job. First thing we're gonna do is go to upload and choose our file. And I believe it's this one. Yes, there it is. And now we can edit it. So now we go to adjust and blur. And there we go, it's already blurred. You can make it even more blurry if you'd like, or less blurry. I think this will be perfect. Hit apply. Then you go down here to save, and it downloads it to your computer. If you go back into Doodly, click your props tab, click the blue and white plus sign, and then just browse for your file. So this is gonna be my downloads most likely. It's this one. And let's give it a name. Now that we have it in Doodly, we want to size it and we want to size it so that it's perfect. <laughs> so let's put it in the upper corner and go like that. Now here's where you're going to have to do a little fine tuning because we don't know exactly if this is going to be on top of the mermaid perfectly. So click the gear icon and turn your opacity down to about 50%. And this allows you now to see through it a little bit. Okay, so see how I can see my blur? Just use your cursor to line it up. And I think that looks really nice. Now I'm gonna go back and put my opacity back to 100% because I want it to be more prominent than that. And there we have our nice blur. Okay, we're not done yet. Let's take a preview and you'll see that we have some work to do. So I don't really like the hand erasing. And I don't like that where he erases the whole scene and then draws the, the blurry scene on. So the first thing, let's get rid of the hand erasing. So go to settings and turn erase mode off. So now it's gonna look a little bit better. Okay, so he's finishing drawing and then he scribbles on the blur, which I still don't like. So that's easy enough to solve. Go over here to the pencil icon, and instead of reveal mode being draw, you wanna choose it to fade. And now we're almost done. So he finishes his drawing, and then it just slowly fades into a blur. And then from there, you can do whatever it is you want. Like you could add your text and build out your video however you'd like it. You could also make this fade a little bit faster. So instead of the default three seconds, you could of course make it, you know, a real fast fade or what have you. So this will be our final look and then we'll be done. So now it's just gonna fade on almost immediately. So as you can see, this is a pretty easy little technique to use, especially now that it's so simple to export your images. Of course, you can use Lunapic or your other video tools to make other 
graphic adjustments and use the same technique to bring it in and fade it on. In fact, we'll go over a few more ideas in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.